Alright, hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and um, welcome to Kirby 64 Bonus Episode 2. In this one, we're gonna take on the boss battles. Take on the bosses one by one, go at them unarmed, and show them who's boss. Alright, so, ooh, we got a nice little uh, cool background there from the first time. Now, I don't expect this to be the most entertaining video at all, by any means. Um, but I figured I might as well show it just for the sake of showing it. I'll probably also die before getting to the end of this. I'll probably die on acro or something dumb like that. But basically, what this is, is a boss gauntlet where you face all the bosses with one life, no power, just straight up... <coughs> Straight up taking them out just the way I've been doing it this entire LP. Um, so, I, I mean, I guess it's kind of unnecessary for me to be showing this. But, you know, I thought I might just do it. Uh, so, here we got, of course, oh, see, I took a hit on Wispy Woods. I'm never making it through this. Uh, I guess this is something to be proud of if you defeat this. Which, I mean, these bosses, th these bosses, these bosses are by no means like incredibly difficult on their own, but, uh, altogether, it's a totally different story, especially if you have no life refills or anything. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely something to be said for being able to complete this. Oop. <clears throat> Spiky roots. And then, yeah, like how he just, like, waddles around. This is such a strange version of Wispy Woods. I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. Like, it's good to see him change things up, but at the same time, like, it's just kind of weird. Of course, he's probably weird in Epic Yarn, too. I haven't played that at all yet. I really want to. After playing this game, I really want to play that game. Like, I really want to try to get it. Um, and then, ooh, I'm so sad. My mouth is a squiggly line. It looks like a caterpillar. <coughs> so, I would definitely really like to do more games in the Kirby series, as... You know, they're short and pretty f and pretty easy, all of them, really. And uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, like, I don't know, I could do Superstar, or... I'd also like to do Kirby's Adventure. Or, um, the, uh... Dream... Or, what is the game... The Game Boy Advance port of that game is, um... Nightmare in Dreamland. Because I thought that was a really good port, too, um, of Kirby's Adventure. So I'd really, I'm definitely not ruling out either of those games, and I might, maybe, maybe, I might even do Epic Yarn, if I ever, that is if I ever play through it completely and really like it, um, because I have this Dazzle now. I can do whatever I want, I've got a Dazzle. It's all good in the hood. I'm so bummed I didn't say that in the last episode. Maybe I'll throw something in. You know, I'm gonna do it, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something in the end of that. Just you wait and see, guys. Just you wait and see. So now we've got the actual fighting of this boss, Pix. I should have looked up the boss's names before coming and doing this, because I still don't know the name of, uh... <coughs> that, ow. That one who, uh... Well, I guess the robot and, um, the changer guy. I know Magman. Um, kind of sounds like Magmar. Magmar would be a more frightening boss than that guy. Am I gonna die on picks? Come on. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna make it past Acro. Just giving you guys the heads up. Unless a miracle happens. Though miracles can come true, they certainly can, people. Ow. No, definitely not making it past this. Come on, Snack. You are better than this. So by the way, you've been playing this game, you... Actually, you might not be. I've been sucking so bad at this game. It's like Super Mario Bros. 1 all over again. Alright, Greeny. What have you got for me? Don't do that one where you spin around. I really don't like that. It's so difficult to dodge. Of course, when two of the uh, three bosses, or boss pieces, are destroyed, it's a little less hard. <coughs> I took this guy out quickly last time. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, come on. There. No, that's not it. That is not the end. There we go. Picks done. You done, picks. You done. 
Okay, let's meet our old buddy back here. Hey, Acro. How's the, uh, how's the bruises been? How's your family been? Are they all space mutants by now? Mutant whale creatures from the, uh, their little accident with the power plant? I definitely don't know anything about that. Definitely did not set up that, uh, motorbike accident. No siree. It was in no way my fault. And I'm incredibly sorry to hear about it. And I'm also incredibly going to die. Unless I do something fast. I love this boss thing, by the way. But I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned that. <coughs> but yeah, as you can see, even with someone who doesn't play as great as I... Or, even with someone who plays as not great as I do, um, even for someone who plays this game well, this is still pretty... We'll see, there we go. This, this boss gauntlet is still pretty challenging. Um, but, uh... Oh, here's the, uh... Kind of game over screen. We didn't see the actual game over screen of this game. But, um... It's pretty much the same thing as this. It's hopeless. Yeah, I know. Snack will never be good at Kirby 64. Just give up. Um... So that's the end of this bonus episode. Kind of a lame one. I only got to Acro. Um... But, uh, so next time, the last video of this project will be me showing off every single power and combination that Kirby can use. Um, until then, I'm SnackAttack8, and I'll see you guys later.